Hey, good afternoon, guys. Tush coming at you. It's Friday, February the 6th, I believe. And we're just out in the garage. We uh, haven't been out in a couple days. I've uh, been working uh, pretty late at work, and uh, it's been pretty cold out here in the garage. So those two uh, things combined prevented me from being out here for the last couple days. Although I did sort of come out and just uh, babysit a little bit and make sure everything looked okay and was drying okay. I did move the frame over to uh, where you see it sitting now, and I also, uh, don't know if you noticed or not, but I flipped it back over so it's right side up. So uh, what we've done today so far is we've just, um, we're going to get ready to cover the frame up. Uh, we don't want to get it dusty because the next step of the process is to clean up all the um, front suspension bits. So what I've done is I've uh, dragged all those bits out of, the, out of the bins and just laid them out here on the table. I'm going to try to be a little bit methodical as I go through these and sort of work from the top down uh, on the front suspension. So that would mean that these upper fulcrums and the upper control arms will be the first things to be blasted and painted. So what the intent is that once I do that, I'll get them, um, you know, like I wait for the paint to dry and then I'll start just sort of hanging them back on the frame just to get them off the table and out of the way. So uh, yeah, I got a pretty good selection of uh, rusty bits here to go through. So that's going to take me a little while. Um, springs are a pain in the ass to uh, sandblast, that's for sure. I was even uh, thinking about taking them up to the place that did my frame. But we'll see how it goes. I'm going to wire brush pretty much everything first and see how we do as far as getting most of the crud off. And then we'll start sticking things in the blaster and see how, uh, how they go. I did uh, stick those uh, glass, um, that crushed glass in there that I had bought uh, to uh, do the frame initially. So I've just sort of recycled those and stuck them in the uh, in the uh, cabinet blaster, and we'll uh, blast the parts with the uh, crushed glass. I do have some little bits started. Uh, those lower control arms are uh, almost done. Just the one needs to be done, and the other's cleaned up a little bit more. But yeah, we've got the bags to go through uh, as well. So anyway, we'll uh, we'll start at it, and uh, we'll make our, our way through the table and we'll try to do some uh, some painting along the way as well. Uh, the paint I'm using is probably going to be, um, I do have uh, some chassis black. So um, I've got about three cans of, um, this is the primer obviously, but I've got about uh, three cans of the uh, Eastwood chassis black and semi-gloss to, uh, to use up. Um, it does take, I think, about 24 hours between coats to dry, so it'll take uh, a bit of a long process to do all the painting for these so uh, anyway it is what it is so we'll uh, start blasting these and then we'll get them into paint and we'll have to end up doing some waiting uh, because I can't paint and uh, do all the blasting and stuff in the garage at the same time obviously that's not going to work out so we'll, ba we'll blast things to a certain point and then we'll stop that process get the paint going and uh, continue on from there all right, guys, that's what's going to happen this weekend. All right, guys, Back just later. coming up to uh, 7 o'clock on Friday evening, and we've got the upper control arms uh, cleaned off nicely. We did sandblast them, and I just uh, hit them quickly with the, uh, the air uh, grinder. And then I've got the upper fulcrums done as well. And uh, what we'll do is we'll hit them with uh, some primer. i got the chassis black primer here ready to go. So we'll just spray them down with a quick coat of uh, primer, and then we'll come back here tomorrow night, and we will hit them with the uh, chassis black. All right, guys, we'll talk to you later. Well, guys, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> the parts are uh, going to be inside the house uh, drying overnight in my front cupboard. So they should be safe and sound there until tomorrow, don't you think? Hey, good morning, guys. Touch coming at you. Saturday, February 7th, just after 10 o'clock in the morning. And uh, back on the 59TR3A today. And... Uh, Took some video yesterday. We got some of the parts painted, or some of the parts primed at least, and we've got them uh, inside in one of the closets uh, drying for the required 24 hour period before the, uh, the next coat is applied. So uh, we'll pull those out tonight at about 7 o'clock and we'll give them a cur the first coat of uh, black. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to start working on some other parts. I've already started cleaning up the uh, spring pans a little bit. I've uh, had the wire wheel out and the, and the grinder out a little bit and just tried to uh, clean off some of the gunk before they go into the blaster. Uh, these are the uh, spring spacers, they're aluminum. Uh, managed to get the wire brush out and clean those up quite a bit, so they're looking good. I thought I would start on the coil springs, they're always a pain in the butt. So we'll uh, try to clean those up as best as we can. 
before they go in the blaster, and they take a long time to blast. They're not very much fun at all. So we'll do the best we can as far as uh, wire brushing them is concerned. And then we'll move on to some other parts. I really do want to get these control arms finished off, maybe get those into primer tonight. And then we can probably move on to the, um, <clears throat> the bump stops uh, for the uh, bottom uh, spring pans. We'll probably do those later on today as well, get those out of the way. So that's it for now, guys. We'll bring you back when we make some progress. Talk to you in a bit. All right, guys, I thought I'd do another quick uh, how-to video. Um, just for the beginners out there who are trying to figure out how to do uh, some things at home. And this concerns uh, getting the bushings out of the control arms, the lower control arms. And this pretty much works for, for most bushings. So you see in here you've got a, a bushing in here. We want to get that out to be able to paint this and to renew the bushing. So uh, what I normally do is I get, <clears throat> hopefully you can see this, a large socket which will fit on the outside circumference of that uh, bore. And then you want to get a smaller socket that will actually push through the inside of the bore and just sits on the edge of the bushing. Then if you've got a vise, and hopefully you'll have a vise, it's a little bit tricky one-handed, but uh, you can sort of set your vise up so it'll just sort of slide in here. I may drop this and come back, but anyway, so you just sort of set it up. trying to do this off to the side here and we'll just snug it up a little bit see that's going to want to fall out so it's a little bit tricky to get it set up once it's sort of snugged up you can kind of move it around a little bit without dropping the sockets Let's try that. <clears throat> so we're just going to crank down on the uh, on the vise, and you can see the smaller socket moving inside the bore. And while it's moving inside, as you apply pressure, it's pushing pushing the uh, the bushing out. There you go. There it is. All right. Okay, guys, quick update. It's about uh, 1.20, and uh, we're sort of making headway. We've got some parts uh, blasted and uh, cleaned and hanging. Uh, they're going to be cleaned once more again before we uh, prime those, but uh, we've got a good start on them. The springs I've decided not to bother uh, going all the way down. I've, I've wire brushed them um, as best as I can, and then what I've done is I've got the... Uh, metal uh, ready from 415 sprayed on them. That's the second coat. So we're just going to uh, get some zinc uh, phosphate coating on there and uh, we're going to clean them up, rinse them off, and then we're going to paint those. So yeah, we're not going to go down to uh, we'll go crazy on these springs and try to get it down to bare metal. Like I said, we just wire brush it as best as possible and we'll, uh, we'll go from there. All right, just a quick update. We'll continue on with the old. All right, guys, just coming up to uh, 20 after 8 on Saturday evening, and uh, we're done for the night. Uh, we do have some parts now in primer. This is the Eastwood Chassis Black Primer, and it's black primer. So those are ready to go. Uh, they're going to dry uh, until about 7 o'clock tomorrow night. They require 24 hours, 24 hours drying time between coats, so we'll wait for those to... Uh, to dry overnight and then we've got some parts that I'd prepared last night so there's the first coat of actual chassis black on these parts so again those will have to wait till about seven o'clock tomorrow night for their second coat of chassis black and then those will be done uh, I did manage to get the springs done they're supposed to be black as well but I like them silver personally so silver they are so we're going to pack it up for tonight. We'll get it back out here tomorrow. We've got some parts over here on the bench that we've just put some uh, metal etch on. So those will be ready to play with tomorrow. We'll reactivate the etch by uh, soaking them down again and letting them, uh, letting them soak before we rinse them off. 
and then we'll go through the process of getting those cleaned up and uh, painted in primer at least tomorrow and then we'll get out here during the course of next week and we'll add some additional coats of uh, black all right guys that's it for now we'll talk to you later